Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. I made one of the most rookie mistakes you can ever make, man, when you do morning radio. Mm. Or if you got a job in the morning, period. You didn't put gas in the car last night? Woke up with on E. Woke I knew up with it. 40, 40, 40 miles left. Damn. As soon as I started the car and drove a little bit, it said the engine was low. I was like, damn. At that point, you got to make a decision. You got to make a decision, but I realized I only have 40 miles, so I'm like, I'm not, there's no way. Because the, <laughs> the last thing you want to do is get here. But then leaving the city because traffic right. is so crazy and you know gas stations are tough to get to in New York City. Manhattan, that's right. Way easier to get to in Jersey. That's right. So yes, I had to make a decision. So did you put just enough to get you to work and back? No, nah, I, 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 I filled it up. I filled it up because oh. I, I factored the time and I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna be like three minutes late anyway. So might as well fill it up. Yeah, I've done it before. Yeah. I just put ten dollars in just to get me to work. That's and right. Back. Just in case there's an apocalypse, there I need go. to get out the city. I don't want to be <laughs> on a quarter of a tank. Gotcha. Be full. Right. Well, good morning, Tez. Good morning, DJ. Every good morning, Charlemagne the God. Peace, Ted. All right, we gonna what we talking about the borders? Yeah. So remember, earlier this week, I told you about Texas Governor Abbott and the Biden administration fighting over the border and how the Supreme Court declared uh, the the razor wire to be inhumane. Now, Governor Abbott did appeal the Supreme Court decision, but there's been an update that I want to give you guys. He said that he is declaring an invasion on Texas. And so this is how he's able to continue to add more wires. So basically, he said he don't give a damn what the Supreme Court is saying. Take a listen. Today, new video shows even more razor wire being put in along a contested section of the U.S.-Mexico border. This is happening even after the Supreme Court on Monday voted to let federal Border Patrol agents remove all of that wire. The razor wire was installed as part of Texas Governor Greg Abbott's security initiative at the border known as Operation Lone Star. The Biden administration arguing now the razor wire prevents Border Patrol agents from doing their job. Now, he issued a statement saying, I have already declared an invasion to invoke Texas constitutional authority to defend and protect itself. That authority is the supreme law of the land and supersedes any federal statutes to the contrary. This is a one another reason why I want to do this story, DJ and Charlemagne, is because I really want to stress to people how important it is who your governor is mm -hmm. and showing that they have this type of power. I mean, they pretty much can create their own country. They can go against the federal government. They can declare things. They can do what they want to do. We see this example with Governor Abbott. We see this example even on the Democrat side with Newsom in California and with DeSantis in Florida. So basically he's showing you in real time how even if the Supreme Court makes a decision, the governor can and can get around it. Charlemagne? What? <laughs> you don't have nothing to say about this story about him basically saying I'm putting up wire anyway. Forget what the Supreme Court says. I'm I'm gonna still move like a gangster. Um, yeah, no I mean, thoughts? Yeah, he has, he, he, he has the right to do that because he's the you know the governor. But you know I, I just sit back and I look at this immigration thing and it's just mind boggling to me because I keep saying over and over nothing will get done at the border until Republicans and Democrats decide to work together to get something done, and that's mm -hmm. not. That's going not gonna to happen. happen. No, no time soon because it, because it's an issue that's uh, too politicized. So now. Let Trump get back in office, something will get happen, especially if they still have, you know, uh, a majority in the Senate because they'll, mm -hmm. they'll make sure it gets done for him. Yeah, he's not gonna, he's not going to care. He's going to do whatever it takes to make sure that they slow down, you know, crossing the border. He doesn't care. Trump does not care. I wish Democrats would get gangster like this, though. Don't you? I just I just like to see. I wish Democrat governors, you know, would just say, you know, we're going to do what we want to do, regardless of what you say. And you just don't see that on the Democrat side. I'm with you. Now, before you yeah, you know, before they start talking, oh, you a Democrat, or mad, they, they can't figure out what we are, guys. Every day somebody say we're Republican, somebody I'm say black. we're Democrat. But, yeah, okay, <laughs> black I'm black, first. and I don't love none of these politicians the way y'all do. That's okay, right. I don't care if you're a black conservative or a black Democrat. Should none of y'all be acting like Tim Scott? And all of y'all was giving Tim Scott hell yesterday, okay, including me a little bit. But guess what? You liberal Negroes act just mm -hmm. like him, <laughs> okay? That's right. A hundred percent just like him. So, yes, I do wish, uh, you know, Democrats would fight more. But they don't. Mm -hmm. And that's why I call them cowards. And that's why I say right. in 2024, y your choice for president is Donald Trump, who's the criminal, Democrats who are the cowards, and the couch. And the couch is voter apathy. And guess what? The couch probably going to win. Because mm. don't nobody want uh -oh. a Biden a Biden They're going to be mad at you, Charlemagne. Oh, They're going to say you're doing MAGA talking points. I, I don't know how that's a MAGA talking point. That's just common <laughs> sense. So people <laughs> yeah, better people, people better uh, figure out a way to energize folks to get up off that couch. Because mm -hmm. right now, this ain't it. All right. Well, that is front page news. Get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, you can hit us up again. 800-585-1051. And Tess, what are we talking about next hour? 
Yeah, I want to tell you, Donald Trump is calling Nikki Haley a bird brain, uh, but she has a, a big boost that she got since her New Hampshire uh, primary speech. And also, if you use Robitussin, I think a lot of people probably do have a very important recall that you guys need to know about. All right, we'll get to that next hour. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Now let's talk about Nikki Haley and Donald Trump. Yeah, Nikki Haley announced at her campaign speech uh, in South Carolina that she actually got a boost uh, after the New Hampshire primary. Take a listen. Do you know, by the way, that we have raised a million dollars since I gave that speech last night online in small dollars? We have had 200,000 donors from all 50 states. 95% of those donations are $200 or less. This is about real Americans. I mean, it's obvious that there are a lot of Republicans who, who want something different. And I keep saying I feel like Republicans are doing themselves a grave disservice, you know, by, by sticking behind, you know, Donald Trump. Because it's not a short thing come November. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're dealing with 91 criminal charges, a guy who's got, you know, two impeachments. And, I, and if I was a Democrat and, I, and I'm starting to see them do it now, I would be playing that, uh, that video of Donald Trump, you know, taking credit for Roe v. Wade. Mm -hmm. I'd be playing that over and mm -hmm. over and over again because I feel like that's a big reason why you see so many uh, white women leaving the Republican Party. And I mean, I think a lot mm -hmm. of women are going to show up in November because of that issue. So I would be playing that over and over mm -hmm. and over and over and over again. So that's why I say I don't, I don't understand why Republicans don't just get behind Nikki Haley because right. Trump got way too much baggage. And she also said that Donald Trump threw a temper tantrum and that she, uh, he should be threatened by her. So he to, uh, she told him to bring it on, Donald. Now, Donald Trump is not happy that Nikki Haley is staying in the race. Basically, he's saying she's in the way. Uh, he made a post yesterday on social media saying anybody that makes a contribution to Bird Brain, talking about Nikki Haley, from this moment forth will not will be permanently barred from the Mac account. He said, we don't want them and we will not accept them because we put America first and always will. Now, as a side note, he said pretty plain this week uh, that he doesn't get mad. He gets even. So it's very clear about, you know, where he stands and he is making sure, you know, if you support Nikki Haley, uh, he's he's going to definitely come for you. And so I think that has gave her a boost in the I, campaign. I appreciate the fact that she's willing to fight it out. I can actually see him looking, reading her donor list and pulling up her donor list to see exactly who gave money, whether it's $1, mm -hmm. $5, $10, $100, $1,000, and be petty as hell with that person. I see him doing it. Yeah, he also yeah, said... Yeah, well, we uh, saw him do it with the... We saw him do it in Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know, c calling out that poor elderly woman saying it was her fault, uh, you know, for uh, for the votes. And and so, yeah, he they absolutely will do this and absolutely will attack individual citizens. He's he's done it, which is why he got that criminal charge. Yeah, and I, and I saw him say, uh, if Nikki Haley stays in the race, uh, she's going to start being the target of investigations. <laughs> he was <laughs> like, I can give you five reasons right now why she could be investigated. I'm like, damn. They don't play fair. You don't play, but, that, but listen, that's why his base likes him because they constantly see him fighting. Right. And if there's anybody in his way, Republican or Democrat, he calls them out. Democrats would never do that. When Joe Manchin was getting in the way, when Kristen Sinema was getting them in the way, mm -hmm. getting in the way, they would never call those individuals out. Even when we would give them chances to. When I had the vice president on my uh, talk show, Hell of a Week, uh, God's Honest Truth, whatever it was called at the time, I tried to give her a chance to say that, asking her repeatedly, and she wouldn't even say it. Right. She couldn't even say the guy Joe Manchin is in the way. Joe Manchin is a problem to their agenda. Nothing. People love when they see Trump fighting in that way, man. Mm -hmm. They just do. You, mm -hmm. you know, you don't got, you don't got, to, you don't got to like it, but you should respect the strategy because it is effective. That's right. Now let's talk about this Tussin. Yeah, just want uh, guys to know this real quick. If you take Robitussin, obviously uh, that is a very popular cough syrup, especially now during the cold months. They are recalling that. They said it's bacteria in it. They've called out uh, specifically the CF Max Honey with four different expiration dates. But personally, I would just get rid of all uh, Robitussin. So uh, this is really important, guys. Throw that away because, again, it's making people sick, uh, almost even fatal. So wow. get rid of Robitussin. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I've seen this story and, and I've seen it on the sheet about ring camera will no longer allow police to request doorbell camera footage from users? 
Yeah, I was interested in this story myself. Amazon own ring will stop allowing police departments to request doorbell camera footage from users. Now, again, there's a difference between request and if you voluntarily Subpoena. want to give it to them, but request marking an end to the feature that has drawn criticism from privacy advocates. In a blog post on Wednesday, ring said uh, it will sunset the request for assistance tool, which allows police departments and other public safety agencies to request and receive video captured uh, by doorbell cameras through the ring. Uh, the company did not provide a reason for the change so we don't know the reason but obviously you know people are complaining about privacy uh but it will be effective starting this week now so my can, question is, they mm, can still ahead. subpoena it though like if they need it for a crime they can still subpoena the footage though right well a subpoena is obviously different you know because that's coming from you know a, a judge but this is saying request and because they didn't really give a lot of information because they said they're not telling you the reason for the change this is all we have you know at this point but I think if we were to assume envy is probably you know when the police comes and they yeah. come to your house and they say let me get the footage do you mind if I have the footage probably you know more like that I would assume because the subpoena the subpoena is a subpoena um, that if it's a subpoena yes they can get it but this is just like a request I think most folks that uh, are interested in solving their crimes would buy voluntarily want to give it mm -hmm. um but this is where you know police officers asking for maybe you're not comfortable and you don't know what to do or not to do and so you just kind of give it over um that's what this looks like but what about the girlfriends though that request ring ring cameras assist they're they, they not they're not gonna get that either but you, you know what the problem <laughs> the problem happens if your neighbor does something illegal and the camera right. and, and the police come to your door and ask you for it now that puts you involved in a situation, right? Because now your neighbor's looking at you funny for quote unquote snitching and you don't want nothing to do with it. But now they, the police won't have the right to take it without a subpoena, which I think is well, good. They, they say law enforcement agencies can still, yeah, they can still access the video using a search warrant. Yeah, so. subpoena, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you missed my joke. I'm talking about all the girlfriends around the world to be asking for ring cameras, catch you cheating and want to see who's coming in and out the house. That's, that's the real, that's the real threat. <laughs> that's the real threat. <laughs> Goodbye, Tess. Thank you, Tess. And, 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 and I think we said this, but it says Ring also maintains the right to share footage without user consent in limited circumstances. Yep. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure depending on what it is, mm -hmm. they'll definitely share it. Absolutely. But make make sure make sure you follow at Teslin Figaro on all social media platforms and subscribe to this Great Shot No Chaser podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network hosted by Teslin Figaro. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.